Okay, but I do want to. Yes, he's he said so many awful things about Jay about uh, Trump. So this is nuts. The power's out in the CBC newsroom. Like things are bad in Toronto, man. So that's that's what I want to lead off with today. Holy crap! So this is Union <laughs> Union Station in Toronto. Like. I wanted to just take some time and look at the stuff about the flood because it is it is a, a, a level of rainfall that is hard to believe. Oh, look at this. Okay. So Toronto sits downhill from a lot of impermeable pavement. With nowhere else to go. Rain falling on parking lots across Toronto and the 905 flow downhill south, flooding transit stations, basements, and streets across the city. Yeah, so I mean, this is a real problem, right? Is... It all drains toward Toronto. And, like... It's gonna mute this because it's so loud, but, like, holy shenanigans. Oh, my God! That's on a street! That's... How is that even possible? Oh my God. This is just, there's so much video. Like, here's the thing. Twitter is a cesspool, an absolute cesspool. Yes, this is going on today in Toronto. So like Twitter is a nightmare, but during disasters, it's how you find out what's going on. Still, nothing's caught it. Nothing is even close. But, like, this is unimaginable. What tunnel is this? Is this... Does anybody recognize this area? Well, but this is what happens, is you get these big heat waves, and the hot air absolutely piles up, and then... Like, like, the moisture in the air just accumulates and accumulates, and then it gets dumped in just astonishing levels that are completely unmanageable. This is Lakeshore Boulevard West. Holy shenanigans. I mean, respect, fire truck. <laughs> that fire truck's not playing around. Well, this is the thing, is like every region has its own sort of flash flood problem, right? In its own way. But this is a pretty remarkable case. <clears throat> like, I don't know if I've ever been... Well, and this person raises an important point. If we start paving more stuff, it's only going to get worse. Like, oh my goodness. YYZ is Edmonton, right? But like Edmonton's got the floodplain on the river. Toronto, this all just drains into, which lake is Toronto on, Superior? I can never remember. Ontario? God, I, this is just showing you. I haven't been to Toronto since I was a kid. Oh, YYZ is Toronto. I am... Okay, airport codes screw me up 100% of the time. Airport co codes screw me up if you called it a million different things, but airport codes screw me up. Uh, is it Lake Ontario? Okay. Yeah, the Don River. True. Does it happen to this level, though? Like, this seems like a pretty remarkable flood. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, this is a catastrophe, it's the end of the world. But it seems like a, a rainfall of some pretty significant oomph, you know? K 
came and went in five. Look at the rain coming off this person's roof. I feel like part of it is just how fast and aggressive the dump of rain was, right? Like, it's not like it's a, a full day flooding thing. It's just a colossal flood and colossal dump of rain in a real... Holy Lord. That's the dawn. So there's your problem. All dumped into the St. Lawrence and people were told to avoid swimming in the rivers around Montreal. Wow, that's fast. This is unreal. Well, that's the other thing. It's if it's very, very dry, which as I understand it was pretty hot and dry, and the rain dumps down really, really hard, the soil can't absorb it that fast, right? Oh my god, there's just ankle deep water in Union Station. Whew. York and Bremner. <laughs> I, this is unbelievable. <clears throat> like, I'm just, don't be this driver. Oh my God. And of course he's in a Jaguar. <laughs> that is the most Jaguar driver thing imaginable. 